A British scientist says the use of drone technology by the military is advancing so fast it could pose ethical problems. Biochemist Professor Rod Flower says we're only a step away from drones, planes or other high-tech weapons being controlled by thought alone. Simon Newton's been talking to Professor Flower. It's long been the stuff of computer games, but not, say, scientists for much longer. Advances in neuroscience developed to treat mental illness could also have an untapped military use, allowing weapons to be literally controlled by brainwaves. Well, first of all, you have to um, have something on your head or something to gather the information about what it is you're thinking about, and you need to train the computer to be able to recognise patterns in your in your neuronal activity when you're thinking about something. So let's say, go left or go right. Uh, once the computer can understand that, then you can feed that information into a weapon system or a wheelchair or anything else, or cu uh, cursor on a computer screen and so on. The US military has already experimented with neuroscience. In simulated tests, it found that troops' ability to spot roadside bombs and snipers doubled when a weak electrical current was passed through their brain. But the Royal Society report says it could go much further. Pilots could operate unmanned drones directly from their thoughts, while troops could control weapons simply by thinking. Recruits could also undergo brain scans to find fast learners and risk takers. The report also looks at how drugs developed for conditions like dementia could be adapted for military use, allowing soldiers to go longer without sleep, to be more alert to threats and to cope better with battlefield stress. Other drugs could be used to make captives more talkative or subdue an enemy. But scientists say there will be ethical concerns about turning medical research to military use. Ours really deals with the impact that these new technologies are making or might be expected to make upon the military and also law enforcement. The MOD's Future Integrated Soldier Technology Programme, or FIST, is already looking at ways of fitting British infantry with helmet-mounted displays linked to a new battlefield communication system. Although brainwave weapons may still sound like science fiction, the Royal Society says they're already on the horizon. The next leap in military technology, harnessing the human brain. Simon Newton, Forces News.